What's up guys, it's Jeffrey again. Today we're doing another toy review. And today we're reviewing Stepney the Bluebell Engine. Now this is the, the Bandai Tex or Bandai Thomas Engine Collections kind of Stepney all the way from Japan. Now, onto the toy. Okay, here we go. He is actually based off of a of a real train called the uh, Stepney. He's actually the real thing. You can actually, if you check or type in Stepney, the Bluebell engine, you'll you'll actually find real life pics of this guy. Like the only difference of the real life engine between this guy is he doesn't have the you know the face as he as seen in Thomas and Friends. So yeah, it's pretty cool how they add some characters like or like Stepney or the Flying Scotsman or you know or even the engine that that hero is based off of anyways let's get to this guy's details this guy is um he's made of a uh, metal this one's made of metal and has a gold whistle golden hand rods got the uh I can't pronounce that color that his paint is it looks like a um kind of looks like a mixture of a dark yellow like mustard yellow and the green looks like it's like a very dark um orchard green like comment down below what the the color it's are for set me it looks like a mustard yellow this guy's he got his name on his uh side tanks he's got the same wheel arch shape as uh, Thomas does he's got basically you know he's got red side rods like because he's the bluebell engine he's based off of the the terrier 55 Stepney engine yeah he's got um whoops yeah he can topple over sometimes if you yeah, he's got these um uh, lamps. They're not really painted in. They're part of the molding of the uh, the running board. Same goes for the ladder. He's got number fifty five on both of his sides of his bunker. There's his, there's the back of his bunker. There's no window details because on the front detailing for the windows are just stickers. No details on the back, no windows, but he's got this switch, which I'll, I'll demonstrate to you on another toy product later before I close the video out, and yeah. Yeah, it turns his magnet back and forth. Now, what are those magnets for? Well, I'll show you. Now, I have a, um, a Ertl Golden Rail Edward, and which is related to this because they got the this is the Japanese version of the Stepney model which would be Ertl Gold Rail apparently so I have the Edward which is the American one without the side rods or whistle and you can actually connect those ones together surprisingly which I'll show you right now just let me go get Edward right Edward um, yeah, well, you're also getting a little, yeah, Edward also here is getting a nice little mini review here too. This is the, um, Ertl Gold Rail Edward. Like, yeah, like, he's, he's a bit dusty. I haven't, like, played with this guy in a while. I just gotta dust him off, like, yeah, like, he's got a little bit of dust. Yeah, I... I had to take off all that dust off of Edward there. Sorry for that. So, um, uh, yeah. How's this, um, Gold Rail Edward by Ertl and the, the, the Bandai Tech Stepney Connect? Simple. You see this magnet here? You gotta make sure this switch is turned on the right angle. So, there's two ways of doing this. That's, if it's like this, like, like that, that's a disconnect. But if it's like this... 
connect. And then you can just pull them along. Just like that. But you might wonder how you disconnect these guys. It's simple. Just flip the switch and it should unconnect by itself, sort of like a real engine. Now, enough of step me. Like, before I get to step me's price and Edward's price, I'm going to show the dates. The Bandai Stepney was made in 1995, and I don't know if you could read it, it says Bandai on it, like Bandai 1995 made in Japan, but this this Ertl Gold Rail Edward, which we're going to review as well, in this double review, that's right, this is actually a double review, <laughs> I actually fooled you all on a single review, this is double. Now, on to the Gold Rail Edward. Edward here, he doesn't have the side rods because this is the American version. The Japanese version of this Edward model does have side rods and the whistle. So that's the only difference. Of course, Edward is based off of the Furness Railway. And, of course, he's number two blue engine. Anyways... Edward, we he's got his nice cheery little face. This is the American style. He's got number two on his tender, like both sides. He's got, he's got, you can he's got this he's got opening for his cab, but there's no details in there because that all you could see on the inside of his cab is uh is this is the support beam wall for the the metal the, the metal body of this guy. Yeah, like, now, the date for the Ertl Gold Rail Edward, it says, it doesn't say on the black undercarriage, but it says right on the underside of his running board. And it's really tiny, so I, I can't show it off to you guys because it's too, just too small. But I'll tell you what it says. It says, this one was made in Ertl, was made in the company Ertl, down in Dyersville, Iowa. USA also designed by uh, the Bandai. Huh, surprisingly, this one's got designing from Bandai Tex as well, apparently. But this one was licensed in uh, 1993. Yeah, 1993. So that would make this Edward model a bit older than this Stepney model, despite being the American version. The recommended retail price for Edward, that well this Edward I got off of eBay, but Stepney I got off of Amazon, and surprisingly, I don't know why, but usually you find these models more expensive on the internet, but I found some pretty good deals. Like, I found this got this Edward for only like, what was it? Yeah, I found Edward for only, like, um, $15, which is, like, like, that's a definite, that's a definite, that's a definite buy. And it was on buy for now auction, too, with free shipping, and I was, like, I'm definitely getting him, like, I mean, like, what's the, like, what are the chances of finding something rare and discontinued on, under only $15 with a buy now auction? I'm, I mean, seriously, guys. Now that we got through Edward, and you can see the comparison of them is pretty decent, because Stepney's smaller than Edward. Now Stepney here I got off of Amazon, like, for about $25, so he was a bit more pricier, because he's actually based off of a real train. Yeah, so... I hope you like my nice double review of, of Edward and Stepney by Ertl and uh, Bandai. This is Jeffrey Sambrowski, and I am out.